When you're getting started designing your own electronic instruments, using the Arduino environment is probably the easiest route into this amazing world of sound and design. Today I'll show you how to set up your Daisy Seed microcontroller. Daisy comes with a huge library of modules, oscillators, filters, effects, and pretty much anything you might need to design your own instrument. The setup is pretty straightforward and takes about 10 minutes, so follow along and let's get it done together. We have four steps in front of us. We'll install the Arduino IDE, then we'll add the DAISY library, then we'll install the chip that's on the DAISY, and then we'll run a test. Go to the Arduino website and download the Arduino ID for your own operating system. Two notes about this, on Windows make sure to not choose the Windows app option because it's not working properly. On Mac you can simply click here, just make sure to drag it into your applications folder once it's downloaded. Step 1, done. Now let's install the DAISY library. It's actually called the DAISY Duino. This is a massive, ever-growing open source library of effects and synth objects we can use to design our instrument. Go to Tools, Manage Libraries and search for DAISY. Click Install and Step 2, done. Step 3, our DAISY has a special chip on it that is super duper fast but needs a little setup. The chip is part of the STM32 family. So we can simply go to the STM32 Duino installation guide on GitHub and install it. It can be a bit cumbersome, so let's do it together. Go to Arduino, open the preferences window and copy this link into here. Then go to board manager, click type, select contributed and install STM32 MCU based boards. Now while installing, let's scroll down to the extra step chapter and install the STM Cube programmer. Click on the link, wait for a moment and click the get software. Choose the one for your operating system, fill in your info and click the link in the email they send you. This should download the programmer into your computer. Once downloaded on Windows, you can simply double click and run it, but on Mac, for some reason, it might not work. You click it and nothing. Not great user experience, but hey, we won't let it stop us. Here's a workaround I learned from Nick Donaldson from Infrasonic Audio. Thanks, Nick. Right click the setup file and then show package contents. Open the folder, go to the macOS folder and double click the setup file from there. The installer should now pop up and run as intended. Finally, let's set up the Arduino IDE to talk to the DAISY. In the tools menu, go to board, STM boards group and select STM32 H7 series. Then go to board part number and select the DAISY seed. And then in US art support enabled generic serial, USB support CDC, USB speed low full, upload method DFU. And with this, we've concluded step three. Step four, let's test it. Let's plug the DAISY into our computer, open the Blink example and run it. And we get an error. That's because every time we flash our code to the DAISY, we need to hold boot and press reset once. Let's try to run the program one more time. And it seems to be working done uploading and the lid is blinking. Congratulations, you've just completed the most boring part of building synthesizer. For more in-depth courses about synth design and programming, check our learning environment and join us on Discord to meet other synth makers around the world, share your work and learn together.